In a previous video I showed you how to build this little gadget, which can charge your phone with let's say a car battery or solar panels or basically any 6 to 24 voltage source. But back then one of my buddies had another power source. Batteries. A normal battery has 1.5 volts and when you put 2 in series you have 3 volts and 3 in series you have 4.5 volts. So in this video I am going to add the function of charging my phone with batteries. There exists an IC which looks just like my LM2576 and it features a very similar schematic. It is called the LM2577 and it steps up voltages. Basically just what we need. But I thought creating another big circuit in this little box would be quite difficult. So I searched for a smaller, easier solution. And I found one. And the specification says that it starts working with 2.5 volts. So two batteries in series at least. Here it is. And it looks and feels pretty nice and solid. Just gonna connect my positive wire to in plus and my negative wire to in minus. The little status LED shines slightly red and just as a test I powered my newly built Christmas tree and it works fine. Now I'm gonna try my phone and great. Nothing happens. Okay, get this. I told you in my previous video how I shorted the data pins. Well, I used my multimeter and measured the voltage in relation to ground with all pins. This is the result. The power pins get the right voltage, but there's also voltage at the data pins. And some kinds of phones, like let's say Apple phones, needs voltage levels at the data pins to charge. Because Apple likes to make everything mysterious and special, but in the end they just glue shit together. Apple logic. But maybe this even works with your phone. All I know is it doesn't work with mine right now. And the solution for me here is to just short the pins again. Then the phone charts like always. With that out of the way I can move on. Now I desoldered the USB sockets and opened up my gadget box. The wiring is really easy. The input minus connects to the negative binding post and the input plus connects to the third position of the stepping switch. And the USB socket gets wired up the same way as the old one. But not the data pins in the middle. I just short them out on the PCB. Saves me two wires. And that's it. Just gonna put everything together and test my new function. Now you know how to charge your phone with batteries. Please subscribe for more electronics projects. Like and share this video and I will see you next time.